Parkinson's disease is a common neurodegenerative disorder characterized by a dopaminergic deficit that compromises the normal function of the basal ganglia. In selected patients who undergo deep brain stimulation surgery, electrodes are implanted in the basal ganglia to deliver stimulation there that improves motor symptoms. We can take advantage of this situation and directly record brain signals from the basal ganglia. Several studies have shown that this activity is characterized by an increase in the power of the beta frequency band. After administration of levodopa, a molecule that's converted into dopamine in the brain, the power of this activity decreases. And importantly, the degree of suppression is related to the improvement in the motor symptoms. In this study, our focus was not the overall change in beta power. Here we examine how the beta signal varies from moment to moment. Importantly, beta activity is not constantly elevated, it fluctuates and comes in bursts. It is these bursts that are studied here. To this end, we set an amplitude threshold and defined as bursts those portions of the signal that exceeded this threshold. We could then quantify several burst parameters. We measured burst duration and organized bursts according to this criterion. This revealed a striking relationship between burst duration and burst amplitude. Hence, the longer bursts are maintained, the more the amplitude increases. An increase in amplitude indexes an increase in oscillatory synchronization. High levels of local synchronization may limit the information coding capacity and contribute to the motor symptoms of Parkinson's disease. This was confirmed. The higher the proportion of long duration beta bursts, the worse the motor symptoms. On levodopa, the burst distribution changed towards bursts with a shorter duration, with a striking reduction in long duration beta bursts. Hence, levodopa regulates the evolution of beta bursts. This work has important implications for our understanding of Parkinson's disease and helps to inspire better treatment strategies. In particular, it encourages us to use closed-loop deep brain stimulation that selectively abbreviates long-duration beta bursts.